Hello, and in this video, we're going to use Onshape uh, to create ISO number four. Uh, to do this, we're going to use an additive me method again. Uh, we'll start by making this little box. Uh, then we'll create these two upper shapes and add those in as well. Uh, so that's what we got going on for this one today. Uh, so we we'll start by creating our document, like always, name it ISO four because it's our fourth ISO. And we'll start looking at this little box on the bottom. We can see it's too tall, and if we count, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight long. Uh, so two by eight, and then we'll come back and get the depth when we go to extrude it. So again, I'm going to start a sketch. I'm going to put it right on my front and change to that front view. I'm just going to grab a box since we said we want a rectangle for this one. I will just click it in. On the bottom, we said it was 8, so I type in 8, hit enter, and then the height was 2, and we hit enter. I'm just going to hit my green check, and again, I'll, zoom, I'll change my view so it's a little easier for you to see, and then we want to extrude. I'll click in the box, and then we'll go back and count how many we need to go in. So if we look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, so we come back and change that depth to 5 and hit enter. Uh, once we have our box there, we want to confirm it with the green check, and that gives us our first overall shape. Uh, then we have a variety of methods we can use to create these other two remaining shapes. Uh, I'm actually going to use uh, create boxes, and then I'm going to chain what's called chamfer off the edges to give us that uh, cut in triangular look. Uh, another method would just be to sketch out those two shapes and do it that way as well. Uh, but I'm just going to make them as additional boxes. So I'm going to start with this back piece, which is going to be one, two, three tall, and it's going to go all the way across, so it's going to be eight long. Uh, so to do that, I'm just going to go right directly on top of this object that I've already created. So I'm going to sketch it on the back uh, like we did on ISO 3. So I'm going to go on the back, I'm going to create a sketch, and I'm just going to click on that back. I'll turn to the back just to make it easier for you to see as we do. And again, I'm just going to do a rectangle tool. I'm going to hit that corner. We said it's three tall by eight long. So I'm going to roughly put it in the right spot, and then I'm going to type in my eight, hit enter, and then hit three and enter. Uh, that gives us that box. I hit my green check, and I'm actually going to turn it back around to that front view where we started at. Uh, if we count how far in it goes, it goes in just two. So we want to make sure it goes the correct direction when we extrude. So I click that box. You can see it's going the opposite direction, so I want to turn that around. I can hit that box and type in a two. And that gives us that correct value. And now we have this shape here. Uh, however, we want this corner to be uh, not a straight. We want that triangular cutout in there. We can see it goes all the way down to this base, so it goes down three. And if we count, we have one, two, three, four, five, six boxes remaining. So that means it cuts in two uh, in cross. So to do that, I'm going to use this new tool called a chamfer. I'm just going to click on it. Uh, in this case, the not equal distance, so where it says equal distance, I want to change that to two distances. Uh, then I click on the edge where I want it to come from, so I click on that edge when it's yellow, and I can change those two distances. So we know one of them's two, the one on the top is going to be two, so I type in two and enter, and it goes in two. And we know distance two is going to be three, it's going to go all the way down to that base, and we hit enter. Uh, so that gives us that cutout. That's another way of doing it. We could have just as easily sketched it, uh, but this gives us a new tool to use. Hit my green check, and I'm finished with that portion of my ISO. I still have an additional uh, triangular piece to put in. Uh, so again, I'm just going to sketch it. I'm going to sketch it on this uh, face that I just created and make it extrude out. So I'm going to have to uh, make a rectangle that's going to be one, two, three tall and goes over uh, one, two. And then we'll have to locate it as well. So I'm just going to start by sketch on that face and I'm going to turn it to the front just so it's easy for us to see as we create this box. I'm just going to start somewhere on the top. It doesn't matter. We're going to dimension it here in a second. And then I want to go down to that line below it is where I want to go. Then I click, and it's got three as my first dimension, and then two as my, I want the second one to be two, so I'm going to type that in as a two, and enter, 
the other one's already at three, so I'm good on that. Then I have to dimension to have it in the right location. If you look, we can move it side to side. It's not constrained in, locate, in its location. We know it's got to be one, two, three in from the edge. So we can make it three in from the edge, and that should lock it into place for us. So we hit this dimension tool. I'm just going to click on the dot in the corner. You could do the blue line as well. And then I'm going to come to the dot on the edge. We want that to be a value of 3, so we type in a 3 and hit enter. Uh, that fully constrains it into place. That locks in where we want it to go. And we can hit our green check. Uh, I'm going to change my view just so it's easier for you to see. And again, we're going to extrude. So this time I click on it. We want it to go all the way out to the edge, which is going to be a distance of 1, 2, and 3. So I come back, I type in a distance of 3, hit enter, it goes to the edge, and I can hit my green check. Again, I'm going to use that same chamfer tool we used earlier. Uh, this time if we look, it goes all the way in, so 1, 2, 3 in, and all the way down, so 3 down as well. Uh, so that makes it a little easier because we can use equal distance. So I hit chamfer, equal distance. I click on my line, and I just change my distance to 3, and I hit enter, and you can see it gives us that cutout we're looking for for ISO 4. Uh, so hopefully this helps you creating ISO 4. Uh, good luck!